Hi everyone, so today I wanted to release a video of basically just talking a bit about myself. I'm gonna maybe talk about a few facts about me and yeah, the, the reason I kinda wanna do this is because for a while now I've been thinking about sort of becoming more open with my YouTube audience because I know that people are interested in that. I mean, I know that I'm interested in that. I'm interested in finding out about people's lives and that's why I spend a lot of time on YouTube which is kind of a very weird concept but it's in in essence it's true I mean that's that's why people watch youtubers is for their personality and to learn a little bit about them so I, I thought from now on I, I'm gonna be a little bit more open not completely wide open but I'm gonna be a little bit more open with my YouTube audience because we're nearly at 300 people watching now which is is kind of a ridiculous number for me I know it's not anything special but to me that is a ridiculous number so we'll start off really easy. So my name is Joel, I'm 20 years old, and I've been in a relationship for a year and four months. Which is, again, saying that now, it, it just it feels like an insane amount of time. Something that you may not know, although I, I kind of feel like a lot of people say this on this website, is that I'm an extremely nervous person. Like I don't really do too well in extremely crowded social situations. I kind of, I like being in my own space, in my own sort of area, instead of being crowded around by lots of people. I I do try to, to, to force myself into sort of uncomfortable situations, to try and break myself out of that, and I have become a lot more better with dealing with people to how I used to be able to deal with people. Which is just through basically just trying and just keeping at it because it is like social so I don't really want to say social anxiety because I was never really diagnosed with anything but being sort of nervous about meeting people is extremely common especially recently I feel like it's it's, it's kind of on the increase so that is something that that is is like close to me is that I am extremely nervous and don't really like social situations too much especially with large numbers of people so another thing is I enjoy all types of games. I know I really a lot of my subscribers have come from Guild Wars 2 and from World of Warcraft. But I would like to sort of branch the channel out into a lot of games. Like yeah, I mean, I'd want to be able to post anything to the channel. So instead of it being more about uh it's Guild Wars 2 channel, I kind of want it to be a bit more of well, Joel is playing this game. Let's see what he has to say about it. You know, sort of... So it's not just one game dependent, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do love Guild Wars 2 and I am waiting for the expansion pack, but at the same time, I kind of want to veer off from just one MMO and try and broaden my horizons with the, uh, with the whole YouTube channel. So I'm currently a student and I'm studying animal management, which is basically the care of animals and animal behaviour and learning all sorts of... Basically... It's kind of the course that you go on before you want to become something such as a zookeeper or as just for example like a police dog trainer which are probably the two that I'm probably going to try and get into. One or the other. Uh, of course it's also stuff like working with dogs in so, and cats in sort of kennels and catteries. Not a lot of money comes from those sorts of jobs though so that is kind of like a dream sort of job. I'll probably end up working in an office or something, but yeah, <laughs> that is sort of the dream. So I enjoy anime, which I haven't always enjoyed anime actually, it's, it's, called, it's kind of like a recent thing. A friend suggested that I should watch an anime called Death Note and it is absolutely fantastic. It's probably one of my favourite all time shows ever, not just anime, but that, that, that show, if you've never seen Death Note, then I'd de definitely recommend watching it. It's very common. A lot of people have seen it. Uh, actually, one of my tutors at college has uh, has heard about it, and I tried to get him to watch it, so we'll see. We'll see what he says about that. I am currently living with my parents, which makes recording uh, very sort of tricky sometimes, because obviously I get shouted of and interrupted, and that can be kind of annoying when you're halfway through a commentary and you get shouted of. I mean, I know with the power of editing, you can sort of cut that out, but it kind of knocks you off your flow, so when you come back, you have to sort of remember where you were, remember what you were saying, remember what you're doing. 
So I am kind of really excited for one day when I move out to having my own office and being able to sort of just record throughout the day whenever I'm home, whenever I want to record, instead of just kind of waiting till they go out and recording something. So yeah, like right now, they're downstairs, so I could be sort of disrupted at any time, which is, is, a, is a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, this one's a little bit weird, but it's just sort of an example of how min how like my gaming variety varies. I have over 100 hours played on Madden 25. I'm a massive American football fan, it's probably my favourite sport, and yeah, I love it. So, as well, uh, this was the one that I wrote down for later, but since we're talking about American football, I'm a New England Patriots fan, I have been for several years, and yeah, we won the Super Bowl this year, which was amazing. I spend a lot of time on the internet, mainly on YouTube. I watch hundreds of videos a week, definitely hundreds. So I'm not only sort of like a content creator, I also am a content watcher. I enjoy watching and sort of, I enjoy sort of like watching people to learn how I can better my videos, which is sort of a weird thing to say, but it's sort of something that I am I'm working towards is, is watching what people do and then sort of integrating it into my own videos. So now I thought that I'd do sort of like a classic question uh, and this one is obviously asked a lot and it's Coke or Pepsi. Now, when I was in my youth, I used to love Coke. Every single day I'd drink Coke. However, recently I have switched to Pepsi and I prefer Pepsi. So Pepsi is my drink of choice as of right now. It may change back to Coke, it may not. But right now, I even have like a, a glass of Pepsi on my desk right now, just sort of there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing, I like Pepsi the most. I enjoy inline rollerblading, which is sort of like, it's the, the sort of, I'm not too good at it yet because I've kind of just sort of started picking it up around Christmas time and I haven't been able to go recently because of snow in Britain and then rain in Britain, so it's it's it's, it's really tricky to sort of be able to get out there and to skate and it's really cold at the moment so it's not really the sort of weather that you want to be out in. So in the summer hopefully I'll, I'll have some more time to go blading and get better and maybe even perform some little tricks. I'm currently saving uh, a lot of money, I'm saving £300 which is 464 US dollars for a graphics card, the MSI GTX 970 I think it's called and this is basically so that I can make better videos, it's so that I can run sort of Guild Wars 2, World of Warcraft and every other vi video because I eventually, I want to switch from being sort of like a, a average PC gamer to all my games are played on PC because I, I have no intentions of upgrading to an Xbox One or PS4. I want to upgrade my PC. Every game I will play on my PC. And eventually I want to have a computer that's good enough to run say Battlefield 4 or Battlefield 5 at this time in max settings at 60 frames a second. So at the moment I'm saving for the graphics card and then everything else in my computer is kind of already been replaced. I got a new uh, CPU not long ago and I also got a new motherboard and hard drive and everything not long ago as well. So those may need upgrading but first I'm going to sort of get myself the, the a, a good graphics card and a new power supply so that I can run the graphics card. So all in all it's probably going to cost me around $500 although my power supply is actually been purchased for my birthday in June from my, from my girlfriend which is, is awesome of her. So it's going to be about £300 which is going to take me quite a while. I'm hoping that around my birthday I get a lot of money from people so that I can sort of send away for this graphics card and have better content on the channel. But higher frames means better quality videos which means uh, better content for you guys. Um, Asking Alexandria is my favourite band. Uh, recently the singer just left, Danny Warsnop left the band but they're not giving up, they've sort of, they've got a new singer and I can't wait to, to find out who it is. I'm kind of really excited about the start of the new chapter for Asking Alexandria and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I've actually been to see them live last year, again it was a present from my girlfriend, we went to Leeds and we saw Asking Alexandria, which was amazing, I may add. That was definitely one of the best nights of my life. So I enjoy playing basketball, baseball and American football, 
yeah, I'm British. So I have a feeling like I was born in sort of the wrong country because everything American, like all the American sports I love, but like English or soccer, I hate it. I can't stand it. Maybe it's just because I'm a kind of a contact sort of sport guy. And I like baseball for the sort of the the, the cool plays that happen, like the uh, the deep balls to fields and then diving catches and stuff. I don't watch baseball, but I play it every now and again when I'm out with friends. I read every single comment that is posted on one of my videos, whether that's positive or negative, and I take it into account. And with that said, I also like it when you guys give me constructive criticism. That uh, it, it, cause that really helps me. When you guys watch it but just dislike it, and you won't tell, and you don't leave a comment telling me why you've disliked it, I don't know what to change to make you enjoy the videos in the future. So if you do leave a dislike, please just leave a comment also saying why you've disliked. Even if it's really negative, that doesn't necessarily matter. Just it's it's always good to sort of gauge your audience to see why they disliked the video. So. My favourite gaming period was the Nintendo 64 and that this I know is completely based on nostalgia. Even though the games on the Nintendo 64 were awesome, I spent most of my childhood playing Super Mario 64 and Diddy Kong Racing. And those two games right now I love to death. I'm going to actually, I have been looking into buying myself a Nintendo 64 again so that I can play these games again but they're kind of really expensive at this point and as I said before the graphics card is my main sort of main sort of thing that I'm trying to earn or work towards. So we'll, we'll see when I've got my when I've got my graphics card I may buy myself a Nintendo 64. So a few of my favorite shows are well there's only two here that I've listed is The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones. I love these shows they're absolutely amazing if you've never seen The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones definitely give them a watch because they're worth it. I also really like Lost Obviously that finished a long time ago, but that is still one of my highest ranking shows. And yeah, the yeah it, it, it was a good show. Um, kind of really miss Lost. And I finally think I'd, I'll finish with uh, who my favourite YouTuber is. At. And this is just a general YouTuber. I have sort of subcategories for certain games. Like my favourite Guild Wars 2 YouTuber is Wooden Potatoes. But my favourite general YouTuber is Frankie on PC in 1080p. He makes content that is informative and entertaining at the same time, and I really like it. So yeah, if you've never seen Frankie, but I'm sure most of you have, he's got 2 million subscribers, definitely go and check Frankie out, because I discovered him uh, a few weeks ago, and I've been like marathoning his videos, and yeah, I've watched over 100 of his videos now, and I'm going to probably watch them all. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you've got any questions, then leave them down below. I may even do like a, a monthly or week, uh, bi-weekly Q&A or something if I get enough questions. Because, I mean, I know you have to have a, a bigger subscriber base before you can start doing that. But that is something that I'd like to do as well. So, guys, until next time, bye-bye.